Hi, travelers. Tara here. I don't know when the last time was that you guys heard from me. Uh, I am not set up in my office. Um, come on. You're going to come sit down. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Um, because I just haven't had time to even unpack boxes. So I'm coming to you from my bedroom. I did finally get all moved in, which simply means that I got all of the boxes and the furniture into the house. Um, this has been an ordeal to say the least. Um, <clears throat> and my mom and I were talking yesterday and I was telling her, she was like, yeah, when you get older, you can't be doing all the stuff you used to do. She's like, had you made this move in your twenties, you could have moved in, unpacked the whole house and then went to the club later on. <laughs> she was like, you can't do that no more. And I'm like, you ain't never lied. And so I was telling my daughter, I was like, man, if I have to do this again, move again, I'll just burn everything to the ground. I just won't do it. So, um, uh, y'all see, uh, Mr. Luciano dog Verratti, who decided to make an appearance. Um, <clears throat> the interesting thing about, uh, having moved in, uh Oh, Hey, no, sir. Is that I have already, uh, gained six live clients, even though I, I can't even do nothing in my office. Ain't that a shame? So I'm going to try to make some arrangements to have them come over and find a space, perhaps in the kitchen for the time being to get the work done. And so I decided I was going to go ahead and bring you, hey, bring you guys a <laughs> an open reading. He's so funny. He's one of the funniest dogs I have ever owned. He's such a funny dog. It's okay. See, let me just smell him. Okay. It's okay. Look. Okay. There you go. So I decided I was going to bring you an open reading. Christina W., I'm going to be conducting your reading right after this. So be ready to check your email. Carrie H., um, you sent me your information for your chart, but you did not tell me where you were born, the city and the state. So I need that information. And uh, Skinny B., I will get to you, reply to your email here later on. And the last thing is anybody who lives in the Corpus area, if you need wooden floors refinished or you just need a general contractor, you need to call Robert Gonzalez of Gonzalez Floors. He did the floors, resurfaced the floors in my bedroom and in my office. Um, they had carpet down on them. And the lady who previously owned the house had been here 35 years. So I don't know how long that carpet had been there, but I had her pull it up. The floors underneath, the original hardwood floors were in horrible, horrible condition. Um, <clears throat> they didn't even look like floors. And man, they came in and they knocked it out. It's just my floors are absolutely beautiful. So at some point, I'm going to give you guys a tour of the house. Uh, once I get all my boxes under control and start putting some things in place. Um, I will resume the individual readings on the website after the 26th because my kid goes back to school then so that's going to give me an opportunity to actually get some work done since I'm already here in the uh, the residence um, I've got a few things set up I can't speak for anybody else who's ever moved but for me the first three things that I first three rooms that I tackle are the kitchen the bedroom and the bathroom because you gotta eat you're gonna want to sleep and you're gonna need to take a shower so I kind of have you know my bed set up the, the dishes are in place. You know, I've got my uh, personal hygiene products in the bathroom. So, you know, it's not fully done, but I can do those three things. I can eat, sleep, and take a shower. So um, that, you know, I'll be able to start doing a bit of work. So I'll be working on those for the website after the 26th, okay? So this is just going to be a short reading. Um, just, we're going to open the cards and see what, you know, the cards have to say. I have the radiant white, the playing cards, the La Vida Sibila, and we're going to wrap the reading up with the psychic Oracle Tarot. So are you ready? <clears throat> Nine cards down, five of wands, 
Oh, the death card. Well, some kind of struggle is over. I'll tell you that much. And the situation has transformed. Now, I don't know if... <clears throat> I get the sense for some of you, this may be, or for someone out there, um, that this may be some kind of uh, argument surrounding children or concerning children, like maybe a custody battle, or maybe there's been some disagreements within the family. The reason why I say that <clears throat> is because in that card, the king is dead. So I don't know if that means... For some of you, that that father figure or male figure uh, has, in effect, kind of given up or ended or canceled whatever the situation is. Seven of Cups. Huh. That's interesting. Three of Pentacles. And the Tower card. Wow. Hmm. There he is. The King of Coins. So some of you may be dealing with a um, Earth sign male. Uh, Taurus, Cancer. I'm Taurus, Cancer. Taurus, Virgo, <clears throat> or and or Capricorn. <clears throat> I also think this is some kind of trigger... Um, in terms of the planetary alignments, being that we do have Pluto and Capricorn, um, <coughs> excuse me, and Uranus and Taurus, and that's actually a Taurus card. Okay, he represents the sign of Taurus. Now, let's put the rest of the cards down. Nine of Cups. So something it looks as though it fell through, in in some manner. It, everything appeared to be going okay, and then it kind of maybe fell through. Seven of Swords. And the Chariot card. Wow. Hmm. And I have two sevens here. Three sevens, actually. Um, the Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Chariot card is a seven. So there are three sevens in this reading. It still goes back to me um, to some kind of um, unexpected cancellation or unexpected as though terms and conditions have changed. This is what is coming across for me. And whether the individual that you're dealing with, this, this King of Pentacles, is the reason why this situation has occurred the way it has occurred. It also says that <clears throat> whatever the confusing nature of this situation, whatever the, uh, the sneaky underhanded or maybe the, the, the deception is, um, you're still going to be able to, if you remain focused, if you remain determined, you can still reach your destination or your goal with this. What is over the whole reading? It is the star card. So for some of you, I think this could be the idea that it was something that you <clears throat> really had your heart set on. Perhaps maybe you stay. Perhaps maybe it's something you've been working on for a long, long time. Because this right here is not always about fights or arguments. This could be about competition. It could be a competition in a new relationship. It could be a competition at work. Um, it could be a competition in terms of a um, um, some kind of project that you've been working on. But I think that it came to an abrupt halt. Um, we see here, you know, this can be sometimes everybody trying to get their, their own opinion in arguments or or trying to over talk each other but then coming to some kind of level of cooperation maybe there's a someone that you go to who kind of helps to give you the information that you need to 
put this on a solid footing. Threes are the start of something, right? <clears throat> Two things coming together to make a third thing. And then we see that the situation, you know, kind of, um, what do you call it? It, it resolves itself in such a way that Luke, Luke, you can't lay on the cards. Come on, come on, down, go to your bed, go to your bed, go to your bed, <laughs> go to your bed. You can't stay here. No, no, I'm putting my foot down. I'm putting it, I'm putting my foot down. No. And so it resolves itself in a manner where it appears that you're going to get everything that you want. Okay. It is this weird row of the center that I don't understand. They're trying to explain to me. something. So let's first take a look at these um, three sevens, okay? This does not, to me, it does not read like a, um, a romance situation. I do think there are a lot of volatile uh, emotions in this. Because even here on the cross, there's this confusion. What do I want? What, how do I accomplish this? What do, you know, I have so many things going on or I have now there's, there's a lot of choices. There's things I need to make decisions on. And then I don't know if some of you determine <clears throat> that whatever that thing is, you're going to let it go. And the reason why I say that you let it go is because of the falling tower. I think some of you may come to the realization that it really isn't uh, the best thing for you or it's not in your best interest or better interest. Um, and once you do that, everything else that was built around it collapses, but it allows you clarity. That's what the Tower card is all about. It's about those sudden realizations, the understanding that that things can't stay the same, things are not static, and situations have to change. And sometimes when you let go of something that you've been hanging on to for a long time, uh, suddenly the horizon becomes clear. You can actually see what's next. Now, it may not have happened the way that you planned it to or expected it to or that you wanted it to, but nevertheless, um, you, you're still able, I think, to arrive at the place where you're trying to go. It is just these rows down here. Now, I don't know if this person's going to make a reappearance. Maybe they need some clarity themselves, right? On what is most important to them. And maybe you know, the person is going to make a return, but it's it's going to be a while before they get back if that's the case. So let's take a look at these three sevens um, to see exactly what they're trying to tell us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, it says three sevens tell of a pregnancy. Mm. Well... I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. For some reason to me, this just reads like some kind of business and or financial deal. That is the energy that's coming off. And sometimes this uh, card can, can speak about um, better cha change that's coming, something that you've been working on for a long time. It speaks to a resolution as well. Um, it says to expect the unexpected. That's why I keep saying it. It keeps coming around that 
whatever this ending, this abrupt ending, this maybe this is a revelation of the truth. Maybe you find out somebody's been um, in some kind of contractual issue, has been like pulling the wool over your eyes, but you're going to get an opportunity to rectify this. It, it's all going to become clear because now the way the King of Pentacles, the energy that is coming across is, yeah, there is a person that you're dealing with, but at the same time, no matter what your sun sign, this is also you. This is about being grounded and being smart in your choices and understanding the value of who you are and what you have and the power that you, and, and, and honoring uh, those two things, who you are and what you have to offer or to give, um, there is great value in that. You really can become king of all that you survey, but you're going to have to grab that. You're going to have to grab it and go with it. Um, let me see what the other three sevens are, <clears throat> because if I'm not mistaken, it has to do with some kind of cheating if I, I just don't quote me on that right now, so give me a moment. Three seven says good luck. Okay. So no matter it's this row. And another thing is it it also with the death card, the way the death card has presented itself. It's almost as if you see the end coming, right? You see it. You know that it's coming. Um, maybe some of you aren't ready. Maybe some of you are fearful. Maybe some of you are confused by it. But it's almost like the, the announcement has been made. You see it coming. Look at that. Look at the way he's coming in with his flag. Okay. Suddenly, you know, maybe it arrives when you least expect it. Maybe it's done in a sneaky ass manner, hmm? but nevertheless, you're still going to be able to arrive at your destination. So let me see um, what I can see about the <clears throat> placements. I can look at the five, the five of cups, I'm sorry, five of wands, three of pentacles, I guess the nine of cups. I can look at one, two, three, four, five of these cards as they relate to the death card, the tower, and the chariot. Okay, so let's start with the five of wands. Um, something is definitely changing or has changed. I don't think this is going to be... Now, we'll tell you something. I have seen the idea of the tower card with the chariot to mean like a sudden accident, even a car accident. So maybe this is you on the phone, maybe you're arguing with somebody about something and you're not paying attention to what you're doing and you end up having an accident. So I want you, um, if you find yourself in a situation like this, you know, take a deep breath and choose not to engage, stay grounded. Choose not to engage while you're you're operating heavy machinery. Okay, <laughs> so um, it will serve you well. Now, this could also be telling you that there may be someone else that you hear from that might you know be in an accident. So, um, you know, be prepared perhaps for that information. Let's look at the, the Five of Wands tells me nothing. So let's move over to the Seven of Cups. This Cups. It is these cards together that... Um, there's just something about them. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Nothing about the Seven of Cups. We're going to go to the Three of Coins. Because I have also seen this mean either a sudden loss of financial, you know, of monies, 
but I've also seen it be a sudden gain. Okay, Luke. And here's this person. It tells you to prepare, listen, the Three of Cups, I'm sorry, the Three of Pentacles next to the Pentacle, um, next to the Tower card, tells you to prepare yourself to make necessary changes to plans. Otherwise, there may be a loss in business or some other negotiation. That's what I was telling you. It's like all of a sudden the person suddenly just cancels the deal. Whatever the deal is, they cancel it. But there's something sneaky and underhanded about the way they do it. And there's no clarity on why it happened. That's exactly what I was saying. Um, okay. Let's move over to the Nine of Cups. And normally the Nine of Cups doesn't tell you anything. You know, basically what I'm getting is I think what this is, is that what you thought you wanted turns out not to be exactly what you, what was best for you. I, I hope that makes sense. You know what I mean? Sometimes we, we, we think <clears throat> one thing is really what we want or really what is good for us. Uh, and, and we struggle, we work on that, we, we focus our energy on that, and then something happens to make us realize, you know what, that's not the person, that's not the situation, that's not the job, that's not the thing I should have been doing. Does that make any sense? That's what that's telling me. I'm going to have to look that up. Let me take a look at the Seven of Swords, though. Because Seven of Swords is a funny kind of card. It's not always about sneakiness and lies and deception. It can be. Um, it's got some really, listen, when the Seven of Swords appears next to the Nine of Cups, wow, look at that, it is informing you that your wants and desires will come to fruition, but not necessarily as you would expect. Isn't that what I just said? Man, I love reading cards. That's just what I said. It may not have happened the way you, you wanted it to, but ultimately that is going to be the thing that saves you. Okay, honestly. Now let me read to you this three of this seven of swords. What the what the meaning is? It represents a time of solitude and questioning oneself, with a focus on adjustments and ill-conceived plans. You are asked to be wary of fanciful promises and should look carefully at any situation before making adjustments. You need to remain concentrated and focused at this time and should keep distractions to a minimum. Really, Luke? Now, that's a good boy. The Seven of Swords often depicts the trickster and may indicate that things may not work out as planned or expected. You are asked to show tenacity and boldness in action to bring about your desired results. You are encouraged to dare to be bold and brave and take risks at this time. Remember I said this is also you? It may be implying that you are carrying a heavy burden or load upon your shoulders. You are asked to delegate tasks and responsibilities to others and to not take on other people's responsibilities for them as this denies them the opportunity to learn the lessons of their own actions in regard to cause and effect. It may indicate that dealings may be dishonest or not straightforward and direct. It brings a message to be particularly aware of all proceedings and remain cautious. It implies that we or others may feel obligated to behave in ways that are not direct, but which we accept hoping that the end will justify the means. It carries a message that something you thought lost will be returned to you. This may include the rekindling of friendships and old ties. Remember I said, I think the person may try for some of you, may return, but it's going to be a minute. It suggests that your plans are not working out as planned, so look for an alternative. 
If your plan does not work out, you should not look to place blame on others, but rather look to yourself for the reasons for the failure. It may also indicate that the most likely cause of failure is hasty actions and a lack of focus and concentration. It may be warning you that your plans will not work out at this time due to circumstances beyond your control. And that's all that is. This is something that is completely out of the blue. You may need to look to alternative options or means. The Seven of Swords tells of upset plans, postponements, delays, and cancellation. cancellations. It is as though everything is going wrong around you at the moment. This is temporary, though. It implies stealth around someone who attempts to outsmart destiny and evade the consequences for their wrongdoings. It tells of the possibility of tension, arguments, disagreements, and misunderstandings within a current situation. It may also imply that someone is spying or delving into issues that are not their business. It may be warning you to be honest and upfront in all of your dealings. Otherwise, you will be caught out and this will have a detrimental effect on many levels. It may be implying that you are inclined to take flight from a situation rather than face up to and take the appropriate responsibility and actions to find a solution. It can also tell of surprise and or unexpected opportunities. And I think if I had to pick one thing for this particular reading, it would be that. It's almost as if the cards are saying... This thing... And this person and this crap that then went sideways, it's almost like it's a blessing in disguise. But if you're not grounded enough and have belief enough in yourself that you can overcome this, then you're going to lose that opportunity. Okay? Um, I want to take a look with the um, La Vida Sabilis. Look, I, I don't know uh, what the next... <sighs> what the next um, transit is going to be. I, I, I don't know. Um, but this is going to be put into motion by the next transit. And I don't know what transit. I don't know if it's a, hey, hey, a Uranian transit, uh, a Pluto connection, Pluto, Uranus. Uh, I know we just had the full moon in Aquarius, and I'm so sorry I couldn't get you the moon report. No, Luke, lay down. Damn stalker. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> That's Uranus and the moon. This is a, a, some kind of Aquarian card. I can't remember. Mercury and Aquarius, I do believe. Um, I, I'm, I'm really sorry that I'm not all set up the way that I, I, I normally am so that I can bring you that information, but... Uh, This will be triggered by some kind of planetary configuration. That I can tell you. I want to look at this tower card in the center. Speranza. That's the hope, but it could also be the fear. Ooh, I hope this shit hurries up and you know gets done, or or you're fearful that it will end. There it is, the disgrazia. The tower card, the house on fire. 
This is an extremely misfortunate event. And the morte. There it is. Speranza. Morte. Uh, tower and death. Speranza, disgrazia, morte. There it is. It repeats itself. Now you guys that have been with me for a long time know that when the cards repeat themselves, it's a definite message for someone out there. <clears throat> Whatever this thing is, no matter how much you hope, no matter uh, how much you wish, uh, and no matter how fearful you are of this thing coming to fruition, it will happen. Um, the cards are trying to give you a heads up to get a hold of yourself. Seven of Swords. The Man of Letters. The Discovery. The Vecchia Signora. This is... Uh, she always throws me when she comes out because she speaks to an older... We could say maybe it's an older woman. But she usually represents some kind of... Um, like an aunt or a grandmother. Uh, an old friend or confidant. Not to be confused with La Mica. Okay? And the Prigione. Some kind of constraint. Maybe that's what the lie is about. Maybe that's what the person turns out that they find out that maybe, you know, some kind of relative or familial thing. But sometimes that's what that is. It's a cancer card. Cancer represents the family and the home and mothers is why the person is not able to move forward with whatever it is. Um, I don't know how that fits in because it kind of doesn't make any sense to me. Um... I want to take a look at this King of Pentacles. Oh no, here comes the cat. Come on, Leo. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Come over here. Come on. Yeah, come on. Okay. How about that? There you go. <clears throat> Y'all see all my familiars are coming in, right? Crazy. Okay. Let's look at this uh, King of Pentacles. Costanza. The, immut uh, the immutable nature of the situation or the person. The unchanging nature. Constance. Diderante, the stupid actions and stupid behavior. Well, maybe this is saying that this person is never going to change. And the Dona de Servizio. This is the helper card. She's like the verb, the action verb. But it says that she likes to do things for people. Now, I don't understand why this card has, has presented itself. Um... But it could very well be saying, uh, you know, because the cards are not always very direct. They can be rather roundabout. And it really depends upon the um, relationship that the reader has with the cards and the relationship they have with their guides on how to interpret things. And the way that I'm seeing it, the way that they are explaining it to me, is that the character or the nature of the person will never change. And in that respect, in that vein, okay, that is what is going to, if you can, if you can recognize that and accept that for what it is, as difficult as it may be, this is going to be of a help to you. And it may give you insight into how to deal with the person if and when they return. 
Does that make sense? Let's pull five cards, I'm sorry, three cards on this King of Pentacles and these three, um, Five of Spades, hmm. Jack of Clubs, Ace of Spades, and basically all that's saying to me is that um, the person is, uh, could be small and petty, and there is a lot of, this is a difficult ending, It's a, it's written all over the place. Um, it's, it's a difficult ending with this individual. Hmm. Isn't that something? This is stop trying to prove you know what's best. It represents anxiety and setbacks and learning to control your temper. It is about being flexible and listening to see the whole picture as the answer is right in front of you. It can also indicate temporary setbacks and oppositions and delays. But this, if you look at it, it's a blessing in disguise. It can also indicate someone who is negative and depressed with this jack of clubs. <clears throat> Can be a reliable friend who has your back and stand by you, sincere but impatient. But if this person is an enemy, he will be vengeful, wrathful, and quick to anger. It can also be news about work or project. But it says that you are growing spiritually and abundance and freedom are yours. That's that other thing about recognizing who you're dealing with, what you're dealing with, the character of the individual, and then... Standing in your own power of knowing who you are. Yeah. And what your value is and your worth is. Um, this could also be in, in some way that some of you are failing to do that. The inconstant, you're, you're, you're being inflexible. You're not willing to recognize what it is you need to recognize. That could be why this situation is coming about the way that it is. This um, Ace of Spades pretty much says it all. Um, it speaks to cross conditions, closed roads, a difficult love affair. This is a warning card that trouble awaits. Sometimes it is associated with death, but more often than not, it's just about a painful ending, a difficult ending. Okay, and it says that like all aces, clarity of thought, okay, is in follow through. It's going to help you make the right decision. Hold on. There's one more interpretation that I have here. In the winter time. January, February, and March. Huh. Maybe this is one of those situations that it's, it's just now, <clears throat> um, excuse me, coming to fruition. Hold on one second. Dia Nunez, you need to contact me. <laughs> I, I need to hear from you to find out how, how you're, how you're coming with your Akashic Records reading and your, and your um, homework that you've been, you were assigned. This is not the one that I'm looking for because, you know, I have, <clears throat> let me see. You'll see all these documents that I have. It's crazy. Let me go to my, my 
what do you call it? My drive folder it might be easier for me to find it there. <clears throat> and I just don't make no damn sense. <laughs> As many documents as I have, it don't, it don't make no sense. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Hold on. No, I, this is not it, and I, I can't seem to find it. I have another document. What folder am I in? I don't even know. That's not it. Hmm. Well, okay, so I want you to, for, I can't find it, so um, formulate one question for the Psychic Oracle Tarot. Yeah, whatever this thing is, it's it it is coming to an end. Now, whether this is something that has you know you've been dealing with for a long time, um, abruptly, maybe this is somebody that has just come into your life rather abruptly, but just as uh, it's not something solid. Let's put it that way. Maybe this is a business proposition. Um, either way, that King of Pentacles is reading both like the individual that you may be dealing with, but it is also reading as you. Two, remember I always tell you, one card can represent two separate people. And a lot of that confuses a lot of people, but... It is the Nine of Pentacles called the Material Harvest. That's why I say it... it it just reads like you're still going to be able to, despite, in spite, um, nevertheless, you're going to be able to move through this. Okay, let's read the um, Nine of Pentacles, shall we? <clears throat> One of the laws of the universe is what you sow, you reap. This card states that this is your time to reap the harvest that you've worked for and so rightly deserve. Maybe this is somebody taking credit for all your stuff at work. You know what I'm saying? You got some people like that. This last physical card. So remember the pentacles represent the physicality, the doing of something. All right. The last physical card denotes self-mastery, self-sufficiency, independence, Security and the art of enjoying what you have strived for. You have done the hard work and learned the lessons along the way and use them to prosper in all areas of your life. The number nine also means endings. Not that good fortune necessarily stops, but do honor yourself as you finish up or celebrate the completion of projects. This would be the perfect time to look ahead and use the wisdom that you've gained to think about what else you want to achieve. Consider smart investments. And investments are not always financial. Okay. What are you investing? Your heart, your spirit, your soul, your energy. Where are you placing those things? And what return are you getting on those placements? It says consider smart investments and ponder ideas that show profitable potential. Congratulations on your success as you have earned it. Now, that may seem like it was all doom and gloom, but the cards are telling you that eventually you will arrive there. But it's really going to be all up 
to you. Okay? That's what I have for you. I hope that message helped. And I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, namaste.